Everybody has different personal styles, which is why it's hard to come up with style essentials because everybody needs different things and everybody has different foundations when it comes to their wardrobe. So today I'm going to be showing you exactly that. I'm going to be showing you my essentials to show you exactly what are the foundations of pretty much the majority of my outfits. Because yes, I have quite a few clothes, but there's still certain clothes that I pretty much use as my foundation to make up literally 90% of my outfits. Now, I personally like to start off with the tops because I have a decent amount of jeans, I have a decent amount of shoes, but when it comes to the top pieces, this is where I have the most of. My entire closet is filled with a bunch of different shirts, jackets, literally anything like that. Right now, since it's the summer, I've been wearing a lot more t-shirts. More specifically, I've been wearing a little bit more logo slash graphic t-shirts. So the first one I think I need to show you are going to be the Polo Bear t-shirts. Now these Ralph Lauren Bear shirts have been some of my favorite shirts to wear in the summer, which is why I own about four of those shirts in different colors. So that way I can still switch to the color while keeping that Polo Bear shirt that I really like. Now those I consider a bit more of a logo tee, but I've still been really big into graphic tees as well. For example, this one that I got from H&M, it's a peanut sportswear one. The reason why I like it so much is because the Charlie Brown, it kind of reminds me of when I was younger. And also the forest green colorway, I'm a really big fan of as well, has been one of my favorite colors to wear. It's still a darker shade, but unlike the normal shade of black that I usually wear. In fact, that's exactly what I'm wearing right now. In fact, what I'm wearing right now is also a really big foundation of my outfits. And that's going to be a plain black t-shirt. Yes, yeah, sometimes I like to wear a different colored neutral t-shirt, but in my opinion, you really just can't be a black t-shirt, whether it's fitted, oversized, whatever. Lately, I've been liking mine a little bit more fitted but oversized is still a good option just a plain black t-shirt you really can't go wrong with it's literally the easiest thing to style and if you haven't noticed most of the foundation of my outfits are very easy to style because i do like color here and there but when it comes to those colors that could pair with pretty much everything i'm a really big fan of because versatility is something i always talk about in this channel and the reason why i always talk about versatility in this channel is because you don't have to spend as much money because you can wear one piece in multiple different outfits which is exactly what i always say that money does not equal style and i think versatility is a really big key to that i don't know how many times I said the word versatility in the last 30 seconds but anyways let's switch off to the next piece another thing that I really like are button down shirts because I have been liking a little bit more dressed up vibes in my outfit and one of my favorite ones recently is another one from Ralph Lauren this one is so soft it's thin so it's perfect for the summer right now it is long sleeve but if it gets too hot all I would do is just roll up the sleeves and it would help a little bit but like I said since the fabric itself is very light I don't really have too many issues with it but I do consider those button down shirts a very big staple in my personal style which is why I have quite a few of them I have some long sleeve ones I also have some short sleeve ones. I have some in black. I have some in white. I think those button down shirts are just a huge staple in my personal style, which is why I consider them a huge foundation in my wardrobe. Now, of course, the last ones that I named is some that I wear a lot in the summer. However, I do want to show you a few pieces that are that really make up my outfits when it comes to the colder seasons. A main thing would be a crew neck sweatshirt. This one's also from Ralph Lauren. By now, you could probably tell what's my favorite brand when it comes to top pieces. It's going to be Ralph Lauren. But whether the sweatshirt's a logo one like this one or just a plain black one, which I think the plain black one's honestly my favorite crew neck sweatshirts are just a huge staple in my personal wardrobe because again it's just something very easy to style especially if it's in an oversized fit it just looks way better and as soon as it starts to get colder another staple that i'm going to be wearing pretty much nearly every single day is going to be a good hoodie for example this one from ours it's a thick heavyweight hoodie which is exactly the reason why i can't wear it right now because it's thick if I wear this right now in the 100 degree weather that it's at right now, I would probably pass out, but I definitely do miss wearing hoodies. Hoodies like that are just very casual. They're easy to wear. They're easy to pair with. You wear it by itself, or there are ways to layer a hoodie if it's too cold outside. Also, another really big thing is going to be jackets because I love to layer. One of my favorite jackets to this day is this a little bit more of a Harrington jacket from Express. This one is very sleek. It looks more dapper, which is the reason why I like it so much. It's just clean. It's simple. As soon as I got it, it easily became one of my favorite jackets to wear just because as soon as I wore it, I saw Started getting compliments with it everybody asked me where i got it from that's going to be express another jacket that i'm always wearing is going to be a puffer jacket whether it be a gray one like this one a black one a thicker one or a thinner one like the one i just showed puffer jackets are going to be one of my favorite jackets to wear as soon as it starts to get cold or another one will be a sherpa line jacket this one's from gap the material is definitely very unique i honestly can't tell you the material off the top of my head but if you wanted to pick it up the link's gonna be in the description as well as all the other pieces that I'm gonna be showing you. But those three jackets are definitely the most essential jackets in my wardrobe that make up pretty much 90% of my outfits when it comes to the colder seasons. Now moving on to the pants, like I said, I have a pretty decent amount of pants, but since I'm gonna be showing you the pants that make 90% of my outfits, I really don't have much to show just because I don't really switch up my pants too much. For example, the pair of jeans that I wear the absolute most is going to be a pair of black solid jeans. Again, this one's gonna be from Express. It's more of a slimmer fit. That's something else that I feel like you really can't go wrong with. A pair of slim fit black jeans because they go with pretty much 
much anything they're easy to style I keep saying that just because everything in my foundation to my wardrobe is very easy to style and it's versatile and I want to say I feel like it doesn't get more versatile than a pair of black jeans you can literally throw on any type of top on top of a pair of black jeans and it looks good so that's exactly why I recommend them another very versatile pair of jeans that I like to wear quite often is going to be a pair of light wash jeans now when it comes to black jeans I like more slim fit but when it comes to lighter wash jeans like these I like them to be a little bit more baggy even though I can't lie when I picked those up they used to be a lot more baggy but since I have been working out a little bit more they've definitely started to look a little bit more slim fit so i definitely do need to pick up a new pair of baggy jeans when it comes to those light wash jeans but yeah again those are something very versatile the next one is not gonna be as versatile because i like to wear it more when i try to dress a little bit more dapper and that's going to be a pair of navy pants now i want to say the material is a little bit more of like a wool type material which is exactly why i think it makes it look a little bit more dapper rather than just a normal pair of black jeans which a lot of younger guys if they want to dress dapper they throw on a pair of black jeans if you want to improve your looks when it comes to looking more dapper pick up a pair of chinos or pick up a pair of wool pants like this the main colors i'll stick with would be black and navy because again darker colors look a little bit more dapper and also darker colors are the easiest to style which is exactly why i carry these pants all right now aside from pants because again right now it's really hot i don't really wear pants in general too much the thing that i wear day to day especially in the summer are going to be shorts now honestly i'm not gonna lie to you i really don't like most pairs of shorts i'm not a big fan of jean shorts i'm not a big fan of chino shorts any of those kind of shorts maybe the chino shorts i'll wear on very rare occasions but the shorts that i wear day to day are going to be more of active wear shorts favorite ones right now that i've been wearing are these from dark sport which is definitely more of a gym brand but these shorts definitely have really good detail they have two flags right here they have a few logos right here i'm a really big fan of this color these have to be some of my favorite shorts the only thing dark sport can be a little bit expensive and also when it comes to dark sport they don't really have restocks too often so if you want a good pair of cheap shorts i would definitely check out fabletics because i believe their deals you get two shorts for 40 bucks so it's 20 bucks each and they have a bunch of different colors this kind of light gray one has definitely been one of my go-to's but yeah anyways active shorts in my opinion are just some of the most comfortable shorts that you could wear especially when it's hot outside so that's pretty much what i've been sticking with and what i wear 90 percent of my outfits with all right the next thing would be accessories now when it comes to accessories there's really three main ones that i wear pretty much day to day that's the ones that i always wear in my videos a gold bracelet a gold pendant necklace and occasionally i would also throw on this pearl necklace the pearl necklace is from cernucci but the accessory that i don't wear in my videos because there's really no point in wearing in my videos but i wear pretty much day to day is going to be a pair of sunglasses now i have quite a few pairs of sunglasses but the ones that i mostly wear is going to be these black pair of ray-ban club masters this has to be one of my favorite pairs of sunglasses and also that club master silhouette is just a very classic look another accessory that you don't really wear but i think is very important in any outfit is going to be a good cologne now if i were to choose one cologne that i could wear pretty much to anything on any occasion it would be prada carbon so that's exactly why i'm recommending that one but that's pretty much what makes 90 percent of my outfits whether it be in the heat or it would be in the colder seasons these are exactly what i'm recommending to anybody of course there are plenty of other pieces in my wardrobe but this is pretty much what makes 90 percent of my outfits but anyways i hope this video did help you out and if it did make sure to leave a like i'd really appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed already in this channel i simplify men's fashion so i'm gonna leave a button for you to do that right here and if you want to see more videos right away here are a few that i think could really help you out but anyways other than that i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video later